Good afternoon. My name is Vicki Turnbow, and I'm president of the Raytown Area Chamber of Commerce and Tourism. And welcome to our first podcast, Talk Raytown, that we're going to host hopefully on a monthly basis. Um, each month we'll have a sponsor and a um, topic and or guest to discuss what's happening in Raytown and with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, this month's sponsor is Farmers Insurance Atkins Agency. Um, Robert Atkins is a lifelong Raytown resident. Um, and he his office is located here at the corner of 63rd and Blue Ridge Boulevard, Cedar. And he does all lines of insurance. And um, with that, I'd like to introduce my co-host, Zach Sweets. Zach? Yeah, I'm Zach Sweets. Um, and um, just, I work for Evergy, and we are a member of the chamber um, and sponsor a few events as well. And I just want to thank you for welcoming uh, myself as a, your first co-host on your first episodes. Congratulations on Talk Ray Town. Thank you very much. Uh, very excited. Look forward to uh, really getting into it uh, today. Yes, definitely. So with our first podcast, what we'd like to do is just kind of talk about the chamber, give a little bit of history about the chamber, um, what is a chamber, what we do, and then we'll kind of give you an idea of what's maybe happening for February. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think a great place to start, too, is how did we get to today? Um, whose brainchild was it um, to bring a podcast to the uh, Raytown Chamber. So the original idea was from our immediate past chair, Patrick Nelson, who is joining us today. Hello, Patrick. How are you? Hello. <laughs> and just off screen. Yeah, just off screen. And in September, for a luncheon topic, we decided to talk about what are some tangible, obtainable goals that we could do for 2024. And one of the items that came out of that is video more facebook live and it was mentioned about the podcast membership services um, reviewed it came up with some ideas came up with the format presented it to the board of directors added it to their strategic plan which each committee does every year and um and then guess what we're here it's our first one i love it um there are a lot of podcasts out there so i think one of the things that folks often think about is how can we be different what are we offering and i it sounds like talk raytown is going to be another resource for anybody that's in the community in the in the region that wants to know or care, even cares about raytown and what's going on uh, to keep up and hear the chamber perspective if they can't make a uh, a meeting but hopefully they're going to get to listening to the podcast and they're going to have to make a meeting eventually i'm sure Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and if they're not a member of the chamber, maybe they'll be like, maybe I should be a member or I should stop in at the office and get some more information. Yeah. Well, this is a great way to get familiar with the chamber. Um, and one question, I guess, to to start with uh, that I know that I had whenever I thought about chambers. If you are paying attention to what's going on in your community, there are a few staples in your community. You got your city government, you have your school, local school district, yes. um, and then of course there's church communities and other different um, nonprofits in other parts of the community. But the chamber is a pretty. It is in every community that you find there is a chamber of commerce. Um, how does the Raytown Chamber of Commerce support uh, Raytown, the city of Raytown as a whole? So. A couple of things about the chamber. Um, the chamber was incorporated in 1929, so 2024 we are celebrating our 95th anniversary. The city was incorporated in 1950, so the chamber's been around a lot longer than the city, and some of the things that we did for the community was, like I've said, they have, we brought in gravel for the roads, we've helped with um, light poles, um, I think we bought hogs for the FFA back in the oh, day wow. um, when I was researching for our 90th anniversary some different things that the chamber had done we and helped when you bring say in a newspaper lights, the chamber helped bring street lights street to lights Raytown. yes in downtown Raytown yes wow. yeah definitely and so what's great about that is is that we have been a part of some of the biggest things that have kind of helped the, the city of Raytown itself. So Raytown, for those that don't know, is approximately 10 square miles with a little over 30,000 in population. We kind of teeter on that 30,000. Um, I think it's just a little over right now. Um, the school district boundaries are 
roughly 33 square miles and in 1974 the board of directors adopted the school district boundaries as a service area each chamber has a service area um, where they kind of take care of and help with the businesses of course if a business is doing business in a city they should be a member of that chamber they should support the chamber because the chamber is supporting the community and the community is not just the business community it's the residents as well and, and that last piece I think is really important um, because I'm sure as a chamber president you have received phone calls about things that aren't necessarily in your in your uh, direct duties but you do have that uh, connection to the community to to the businesses I, I know in, in my instance I reached out for some direction trying to connect folks uh, for a volunteer op uh, uh, opportunity and the person that you directed us to was the exact right person to get signed up and get folks out to volunteer um, do you the, do you do this, does the chamber get a lot of those uh, field a lot of those random questions where someone might not know where else to go so I think sometimes what a chamber can do is if we don't know the answer we're gonna find it out for you I will tell you that right now but we're gonna know then they're not gonna have to go through five or six people mm -hmm. to get to where they need to be you know we have people right now calling um, looking for a reputable company for snow removal um, someone to do plumbing um, and so I think they feel like maybe we've not vetted somebody by then but if a person is a member of the chamber which is who we refer um, we're able to do that for them yeah and again that's that's there's a directory on the chamber website but yes. sometimes you just want to be able to call somebody that knows something right yeah um just this week i had somebody say a live person thank you for answering the phone <laughs> yes yeah <laughs> and that's that's just one aspect of what the chamber uh, offers to the community a, as a whole Correct. Um, and so it sounds like the ca chamber is oftentimes working in concert with some of the other pieces of the community uh, to really bring Raytown forward. Yes. Um, and um, understanding what the chamber does before we kind of pivot into what it does for its members, there is one uh, one other part that I, I think is really important to mention is the chambers, uh, the the building foundation. But not because a building foundation is fun and exciting, but if you've driven past the chamber in the uh, past few months, uh, you've seen a brand new chamber building. Correct. That also looks like I might be able to park there and jo and walk on a trail. Is that correct? Yes. So um, when Jackson County purchased the um, Rock Island Railroad, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and decided to do the um, shared use project between the trail and the rail, they put in the Rock Island Trail from Lauderdale at the stadiums through Lee Summit. There's 3.3 miles that go through Raytown. And when people ask, where's the trail? In front of the chamber office, and we're located at the corner of 59th and Raytown Trafficway, it's the 10 foot wide sidewalk that's right, right in front of the building. When they decided to do the trail, we decided, the chamber board and the chamber decided that we would remodel our building because it really needed um, some help and then we also added tourism to our name because we felt that if we were going to be sitting right on the Rock Island Trail we needed to um, do that to promote the tourism in the community and then the building is owned by a 501c3 which is a building foundation so it's a charitable organization and they're able to um, we were able to get grants <clears throat> and um, from beginning to end we raised three hundred and seventy thousand dollars wow and that's as I said that is a space that if you're just driving by is is welcoming um, as welcoming as as any building can be but I mean I can stop uh, with my bike and repair my bike uh, I see a repair station there I can just take a load off for a second and I let my feet rest um, and then just keep on going but I mean I can get on the Rock Island Trail at the Raytown Chamber and make my way over to St. Louis yes. through, the, through its connections across the state that's correct Wow um, it, not very many chambers can say that well I have people ask me why did we build a trailhead at our location and it just made sense why did it make sense 
So for us, we felt that um, the chamber is a part of the community, and by building the trailhead, so there is a repair station, there's um, a benches that you can sit, and when the chamber office is open, you can go in and get water out of the water fountain. There's a bathroom. You can use a bathroom. Um, we have people that will park there and they get on the trail and they'll go toward the stadium. We have people that will park there and also um, ride their bikes to um, – the Royals game. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. And then we've had people that'll park there and then they go to um, um, Hartman or Hartman Park in um, Lee Summit and then back. So um, we have a lot of people that will walk it. They walk their dogs. The kids get out, um, but they can park in the parking lot. That's exciting. Um, and, and I'm sure you see the traffic every day. Um, coming through, which is further exposure and let folks know, hey, we're the Raytown Chamber. We're here <laughs> if you need us. Um, and speaking of needing um, the, the chamber, uh, that's really where, the, uh, as folks would say, it's the, the meat and potatoes of what, you, what the chamber does. And it's, support, it's to support um, businesses in Raytown. Uh, you, you talked about um, that large, um, the, the larger uh, territory for the chamber, larger than the city, uh, to support everyone. What was um, what was the? You mentioned adopting the school board's uh, boundaries, but what was the the added benefit for the chamber to n not only um, service businesses in Raytown, but in the surrounding areas that do business in Raytown? So when I was researching it, I was reading board minutes from back during the discussion. Um, I got the feeling that because the school district had buildings that sat outside the actual city limits of Raytown, I think that's where it started. And I think they felt that if the school district was going to be a member of the chamber and if they were going to be able to maybe help with anything that might need help with at those other locations, I think that it, that's where they went with that, is the adoption of the service area of the school district boundaries. That's, um, that's certainly a tall task, uh, more than doubles, uh, triples, quite frankly, yeah. uh, the, the reach of the chamber. Um, on a day-to-day, -day, um, who makes up the staff of the chamber? So currently, the paid staff is myself, which is the president, and then we have a part-time position as well. Okay, so two people are, are covering uh, the, the work of, of the chamber board, or excuse me, of the chamber. Um, where do, how does a board and the committees um, kind of play into the operation of the chamber in, in concert with this paid staff? So the, the staff runs the day-to-day -day operations of the chamber and the building foundation. The, all the events, luncheons, coffees, after hours, um, Raytown Night at the Royals, Raytown Night at the Comets, golf tournament, Eastern Jackson County Bash, all of those things are done through the chamber. And um, the board of directors, they um, set policy. And once the policy is set and they have approved the strategic plan, which for some could be the business plan, um, we do that yearly. And um, then the chamber make the chamber staff make sure that the business plan, the strategic plan, is followed on a yearly basis. And then the committees are set um, by the chair of the board. Um, the chair of the board, um, if we have an event, we'll set up a task force. And the way I look at it is, if a committee meets monthly all year, it's a committee. If it's a task force, they only meet maybe three or four times. Um, that's how we do it between a task force and a committee. And I can just say as a, as a, a plug for one of the committees, um, the, the work Folks like to say, oh, the work, and it is volunteerism, but it's not really work when you're, you are enjoying the time with the Correct. people that you see every meeting, every week, every month, whatever the cadence is. Um, and it's not really work whenever you see the outcomes of, of what you're doing to benefit the, the community um, just by spending some time at the chamber. I agree. I agree. Um, the, a lot of the work for the chamber is done within committees. And then they present, the committees present that to the board of directors and the board of directors, you know, if they have additional questions, especially if they're going to need money, how are they going to, you know, um, are they going to need sponsorships? Is it an event that um, is going to need volunteer hours from the board or from other members? And so there's a lot of stuff that goes into um, each committee um, every month. If they meet monthly, there's an agenda. Mm -hmm. um, right now we do Zoom and um, in-person 
So there's a lot that goes into the committees. And a lot of participation, too. Oh, sure. Um, it's not just three people sitting on a Zoom call looking at each other. Right. Um, there, there's a lot of uh, com um, participation and just pride uh, from individuals that are a part of the chamber. They're proud to, to be an active member um, of the chamber. Speaking of membership, how many roughly um, businesses um, or just I'll say members to keep it broad does the Raytown Chamber have right now? So right now we're at 228 which totals 377 individuals. Oh wow. So some members will have more than one um, a person listed. So if you go to the Chamber's website which is raytownchamber.com at the top there's directory and you click on it. So let's say you put in um, Evergy. Evergy would pop up, you could click on it and you could see how many people Evergy has that's a, a member of the chamber. And then you can, um, you'll, you know, you could see a, an email address, or you can't see the email address, but you could email the person if you had a question, um, a phone number, that type of thing. And that's, it, it's great to see corporation, not corporations, but companies, businesses, large and small. Yes. Um, and I actually took some time to look at the membership um, I had to get in, getting down to the podcast just to have a better feel. I go to uh, our monthly meetings and and uh, very active, but I didn't really know all of the membership. W tell me if you could, what is it like as a member, or excuse me, as a president of a member organization? You have over 200 organizations that are members. I'm sure some of them are more active than others. Um, what is it like for, for you to have that interaction with varying industries, varying people, varying um, interests and issues that are, that are going on? Um, does the chamber, does the chamber president have a, have a pulse on, on the community, at least from the business perspective? Or do you kind of get lost in all of the, everyone's got something going on? So from my standpoint, what I like to do is, is e each business nonprofit, church, or individual. Everybody joins the chamber for their own reason. And I try to figure out what it is that they are looking for when they join the chamber. Mm -hmm. And then if we don't see somebody for a while, but we had seen them for a while, we'll reach out. Okay, you know, what's happening, you know, and then you find out maybe there's some staffing issues. Okay, well, here's how we can help you. You know, we've got the job board on the website. So we try to reach out to try to get a feel for what's happening. From a community standpoint, what I like to do personally is I get in the car and I go sit at a strip center. Right now there's about 25 strip centers in Raytown. I'll sit in the strip center and I make a list of every business I see in that strip center. And then next to that name, or if it's empty, write the address down. And then what I do is I go back and put it into a spreadsheet, and then I email Missy Wilson, who's the Economic Development Director, and say, okay, I was at Center 63, here's what I noticed. It looks like there's paper in one window. Yes, I look through, see if I can figure out what's happening behind that paper, and figure out, do we have a new business coming in? Is the landlord, you know... Um, working on a on a on a room or a, a an area that maybe they're getting ready to lease or um, rent out. So, I call that my windshield inventory. <laughs> well, I, I think that's great. I mean, that just highlights that um, that cooperation and working together. Yes. Um, to build the community together. Yes. Um, and, and Missy Wilson, the uh, economic director for. Uh, economic development director for the city is present at uh, chamber meetings, um, provides tidbits of information um, that's helpful for the chamber's operation and to let them know what's coming up. Uh, I also say that we did, it wasn't an inventory, but um, you're great about taking folks on a tour of Raytown. Yes. Um, and um, kind of explaining to folks how some of the part, different parts of town came to be and what, what the, the outlook is. Um, I, I know I'm going off script, but tell me about, do, it seemed like you enjoyed uh, uh, showing off Raytown. What, what is it about those opportunities to show off Raytown that you enjoy most? So for those that don't know, Raytown is my hometown. I've been in Raytown, I either worked or lived in Raytown since about 1967. Um, I am a Raytown High School graduate and um, I love Raytown. Um, and you know, I tell people, Raytown today isn't the same as it was in 1980, but Raytown today, 
the kids today, they're going to remember Raytown today just as much as I remembered Raytown in 1980. I talk to kids all the time, and they're like, we talk about the differences, and they can't believe how much different it is, but they they talk about Raytown and have the, pr- the pride of Raytown just as much as I did. And so um, because we're small, you know, landlocked, we're not going to bring in the big boxes of the world, but we've got great mom and pops, and um, sometimes people just need to know where to look mm-hmm. to find that. Yeah. It, just like any chamber, that is one of the first places to look uh, when you're trying to find those yes. those mom and pops. Yes, it definitely. Yeah. It's, um, it, it's really incredible to understand just all, the full work of what the chamber um, does, but also what it provides to the community, both for the members uh, directly, for uh, the member, or excuse me, the chamber community at large, um, and looking at the impacts on what future Raytown will look like. Um, I, you, you mentioned being a uh, Raytown grad, this is your hometown. Um, it's 94 years for the chamber this year? 95. 95 years, excuse me. What uh, what do you hope to see um, with not just the chamber but with Raytown as a whole when that um, century mark hits? What what are you excited to to see? So from a chamber standpoint, we have two time capsules. We did a time capsule for the gosh, I can't remember the 80th, and then we did one for the 90th, and so. I wrote letters to the chamber president for the year of two, for the hundredth anniversary, and so it'll be interesting to see. We put you know all kinds of stuff in the time capsules, and um, what I think with Raytown is that if if we embrace who we are, you know, people always say, "Why Raytown?" Man, when you drink the Kool Aid, you totally understand. You you it's. It, we're a community. We um, we take care of our own. Um, we we help others. We welcome. Um, we're welcoming. Um, the school district is doing a great job in taking care of our kids. The yes, there every every community, every business has some challenges, but you just have to get past those and you keep working for going forward. And. Raytown as as a whole has been I mean I feel like every every 10 years when you go back to to look at the the traction that it's made I mean it's just chugging along and making great strides yes um, and part of the um, part of the great strides is the work the chamber does and so uh, on behalf of of, a, of your membership and a member uh, thank you for the work that you personally do but thank you for the work that the chamber does in supporting Raytown well, and what you have to remember is I can't do it by myself. I have a great board. Um, we have a great group of volunteers. And so it's not just me. And yes, in every community, everybody sees the chamber president because they're the one that's out there. They're the one kind of you know leading the charge. But there are so many people below that person. And I don't mean below, but below that person that is out there working as hard, if not harder, because they are doing you know they've got their personal lives they've got their businesses they're running um and all of that and so it is a great team effort on it on everything to do with that and and speaking of the the team effort um are there any team lifts any events or anything exciting coming up that the chamber's putting on um as we look look forward to february um i know can you believe it's already <laughs> past the middle of january yes. so um we are doing for the first time raytown night at the comets and it's um february 10th it's a saturday if you go to the chamber's website and um click on event calendar scroll down and look for february 10th if you click on the link you can buy your tickets and the reason we decided to do with the comets is that for those that don't know the world cup will be in the area and we're going to have probably seven to nine soccer games that'll be hosted at arrowhead gecha field Mm -hmm. arrowhead and 
If you don't know, Raytown is right here. We're backyard to the ballparks. And so we decided we'd start that snowball, getting people used to soccer. And so we got we reached out to the Comets and um, got our first Raytown Night at the Comets on February 10th. I love it. I also love, and you should just tag it right now, uh, backyard to the ballparks. Uh, yes, that sounds tag like it. Hashtag backyard to the ballparks. Tag it, brand it, do it all. Yeah, uh, exactly. So we're going to the Comets game next yes. month Yes. on... February 10th. February 10th. Yep. Uh, can't wait to see you there. Yeah. And then we... And, and real quick before I ask for where to, to find you and, and get, reach out. If you want to come to luncheon, we'll get you reserved for luncheon. And you will talk to a real person. And I you hear. will talk to a real person. <laughs> yeah. Now, if by chance you get the um, answering machine, I will call you okay, back. Okay. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Yeah. I will call you back. Okay. Yeah, will, will yeah, yeah, okay, will that we can back. guarantee yes. at the Raytown Chamber. Well, um, I... Thank you again for the opportunity to be your co-host and interview, essentially interview you. And, yeah, and talk well, thank you very much for doing this. Yeah. Um, real quick, um, the guest and our speaker for February is actually Damon Hodges, who is our city administrator. We thought maybe it would be a great time to bring him in um, to talk about the city in general and maybe get his um, get our uh, some information before the state of the city. And the podcast will be taped each month, and then we'll put them live on our social media. So, oh, fantastic. Yeah. So we'll be able to find this on, on the webs- uh, Chamber website, yes. on his Instagrams and Facebook yep. and everywhere. Yes. Um, and be sure to definitely um, follow and share. Make sure you let other folks know this is the place to be to hear uh, straight from the Raytown Chamber, Talk Raytown, um, with... Uh, with Vicki Turnbo, the president of Raytown, the Raytown Chamber. I greatly appreciate the opportunity. Zach. Oh, I guess I need to sign off, don't I? Well, uh. <laughs> thank you very much. And then thank you to Robert for sponsoring the first podcast. And with that... Yes, uh, Robert, we got a sticker coming for you for the first podcast yeah. uh, 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 sponsor. But uh, with that, I'm Zach Sweets. Um, and we'll talk to you next time on uh, Raytown Live. Yep. Thank you.